congregation. Amen. That's led by the choir. Book of Job, the nineteenth chapter of the Book of Job. Then you'll find it about in the middle of your Bible. You don't have to look way in the front. Don't have to look way in the back. Just start looking in the middle, and you ought to find. I'm still looking. We we'll give you a couple more seconds. Amen. If you don't find it, just listen. <laughs> Amen. And then you can find it later. Book of Job, the 19th chapter. I want you to begin reading that. The 21st through the 29th verse. Read it in unison. You may read.
one verse. For I know that my Redeemer lives. And that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. I think I use the first clause of our theme. For I know that my Redeemer lives. That's what I want to talk about. For I know that. That, that mine, mine, M-Y, personal, personal pronoun, that my redeemer is living. How many of you have a redeemer? Yeah, the preacher said, don't fool me now. Don't, 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 don't say you have one, you know you don't have one. Well, I know. Personal, that my, I can't say about yours, Redeemer live. I thought I'd talk about knowing what you know. Amen. Knowing, <laughs> yeah, what you know. Some people don't know what they know. They guess about what they think they know. But you ought to know what you know. If you notice, Job said, I know personally that my, he didn't say yours, my redeemer living. Maybe you don't know what redeem means. Redeemer. The redeemer. He said, I know my redeemer. Redeemer is a person who redeems. Amen. Amen. And re redeem means to buy or to pay off uh -huh. or to buy back. How many of you have lost something and had to buy it back? That's called redeem. Thank you. That's called redeeming. Getting back what one for you. Hello, somebody. It, it means to buy back. To, to clear by payment. Debt had to be paid uh, to retrieve what, what once was yours. Uh, amen. To repurchase. I'm all I'm saying to buy back. <laughs> to get back what once was yours. You got away from it. It ain't going to cost you something to, re to get it back. <laughs> amen. 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 Thank you, brother. Redeem uh, and to pay a ransom. A ransom had to be paid uh, to, 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 in order to get back what you once had. You, you know, sometimes they hold a person for ransom. They, they don't want you, but they, you, you can bring them some money. Yeah. It, it Amen. You're worth something to somebody. You may not have a dime, but then you worth something to the person that have a dime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they hold you for ransom. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. A -a 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 amen, amen. And, and in order for ransom to be paid, it, it has to be somebody who's able to pay the ransom. Hello, somebody. Y'all don't hear what I'm trying to say. Amen. But, but I think about Job. Job said, I know. That my redeemer lived. Yeah. And I think he said something else there. And, and that he should stand at the latter day upon the earth. And I think Jesus said himself that he's coming back. Yeah. He, he, he's coming back where? He, he once was here on this earth, but he said, I'm coming back again. Yeah. And that's what Job was saying. The ransom. It redeemed a person from captivity. Sometimes in captivity, even America have paid the ransom uh, for, for, for those who
who have been head, held captive overseas. So America had to give up something in order to receive them back. Maybe y'all don't know about it, but you study history. You go back and read. A amen. And throughout these wars that we have, the, and somebody become captives. And they just don't give them up all the time. If they worship something, they just don't give them up. It, it, sometimes it, it, it's given by exchange for the same value. Hello, somebody. A a amen, amen, amen. Job said, I know uh, that my, my Redeemer lives. Job was somebody. Uh, it, 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 amen. They, it, going back and looking at history, they say, uh, uh, some, 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 some theologians say that perhaps this was a legendary story, but I don't believe it was no legendary story. I, I believe it was a true story. Hello, somebody. Come on, y'all, help me a little bit. I, I, I'm going to sit down in a minute. I mean, they believe it was a legendary, just a story that was tell, but that was told, but I believe it was real. Said Job, God said Job, the Bible said Job was a man that lived in the land of us. And he was the richest man that lived in all the land of us. Job, Job was somebody. He had a lot of cows and, 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 and camels and, and, and she asses and sheep and everything, seven sons and three daughters. But they all were taken away from him. And now, why was it taken away from him? Uh, because uh, not only did Job have an, had an enemy, but God had an enemy. And, and, and you know, when you are close to God, then, then the devil, the only way he can get back at God is to get at you. Y'all don't hear me now. Amen. The reason why we have so much trouble in this place because the, uh, the devil was trying to get back at God. You, you notice if you will. Where we start way back. Where way back in the beginning. It started way, 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 way back. Y'all can help me if you want. It, it started, started way, 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 way back. And man sold his soul to the devil. He, 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 he sold out. He sold, he sold out. And a lot of folks are selling out today. They're selling out for the world riches, the world good. They're selling out. They don't think they can care less what God has said. And, and they're selling out today. Amen. If, no, if, some, if nobody don't redeem you, amen, you're going to hell. That's why Job said, I know. Personal pronoun. I know that my redeemer, my some of y'all don't know about your redeemer. I don't believe you know whether you have a redeemer or not. But I got a redeemer. I have a redeemer. Oh, glory to God. I said that man lost. He sold himself out. Way back in the, y'all know the story, don't you? Thank you, boy, in the Garden of Eden. When God had created the heaven and earth and everything therein and, 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 and he placed a garden and, and, and placed man in the garden, what we call the garden of Eden. Amen. To take care of the garden. As he said, became, he became the gardener. Only thing he had to do was just walk around and look because everything was taken care of of his own. Because no sin was nowhere around. What causes thongs and thistles is sin. What causes aches and pain is sin. Oh, y'all don't hear me? I say y'all don't hear me. And, 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 and the devil looked down and saw that man was, was, God, was made in God's image and in his likeness. And the devil got angry at the beginning. And he started walking around in the garden. I don't want to go this way, you know. This is a long way around. <laughs> he started walking around in, in the garden of Eden, and he saw that Adam was away from his wife. 
So he approached Eve yeah. and said, said, God have said, did God have told y'all you, 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 that you can't eat of the fruit of the garden? And Eve said, well, we, we can eat of every tree that is in the garden, but the one that sits in the midst. Yeah. God said, we shall not eat of it, lest uh, neither touch it, unless we die. Satan said, no, 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 he, God didn't tell you the truth. Amen, you shall not surely die. Amen, well, Satan used trickery words. And, and, and he didn't tell Eve that she wasn't going to die. But he, she said, you shall not surely die. That means you're going to die right away. And write about it. And said, God do know, and he, get, he began to use Thing that that would would, 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 would entice humanity mind in, in their thoughts. So, so he said, God does know that if you eat up the fruit of the garden that is in the midst of the garden, you, you, your eyes become open. You, you'll be wise, rather. You'll be wise as God. And you'll know good from evil. And God don't want you to be wise. And that's why he told you, don't touch it and don't eat of it. Because God, uh, he knew that if you eat of it, that you become as God. Knowing good and evil, you know, uh, you'll be wise just like God. And, and the Bible says when he saw that the, truth, that the tree desired to make one wise, that she ate of it. And when a husband, I don't know what Adam was, brother, it's it danger to leave your wife alone too long. Uh, uh, wherever Adam was when he came around Eve, the Bible says he, Eve gave him other fruit of the garden. And he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open. And they saw that they were naked. They had been naked all along. Ever since God created and made them. But, but, but they had no sin. And they didn't know they were naked. Because they had no sin. Their eyes were blind to sin. And because they had no sin. But when they ate of the fruit of the garden. That God told them not to eat all. The Bible said the eyes of them both became wide open. And, and when Adam saw, and they saw that they were naked, he, they hid themselves. And, and, and amen, he, he sold big leaves, tried to hide their nakedness. But you can't hide from God. I don't care where you go, you can't hide from God. You may try to get in a dark corner, but darkness is just like light in the eyesight of God. Oh, glory to God. You can't hide from God. They sewed fig leaves together and tried to hide from God. My Bible tells me that God came walking in the garden of Eden in the cool of the evening. Good God Almighty, he didn't come in the morning. He didn't come at noonday. He didn't come at noonday while the sun was in midair. When the sun was beaming down, hot. But God waited until the cool of the evening. Somebody said, some philosopher, some theologian said, reason why God didn't come as soon as they sinned, because God was angry. But my Bible doesn't tell me that. But we can use that as summation. Yeah. See, God waited till anger calmed down. Good God Almighty. When God's anger calmed down, he came walking in the garden. Adam heard. Let me use my theory. Adam heard. God's footstep came walking in the garden of Eden. Oh, yeah. And he hid themselves. And God called him. 
by his name. Notice one thing. He didn't call Eve name, but he called Adam name because he placed Adam in charge of the Garden of Eden. He said, Adam, oh, Adam, where are you? Good God Almighty. Somebody said, Adam didn't answer him at the first call of, of God born. But God kept on uh, calling Adam uh, by his name. Oh, Adam, where are thou? And Adam said, Lord, Lord, uh, I was naked. Uh, we were naked. Uh, and I hid myself. Uh, but I heard God say, uh, who told you uh, that you were naked? Uh, the only way uh, that you know you were naked, uh, have you eaten? Uh, of the forbidden fruit that I told you not to eat of. That's the only way you'll know that you're naked because you've done what I told you not to do. Good God Almighty, some of you don't realize your wrongness until you're caught up with. Good God Almighty, when you're caught up with, then you recognize how wrong you were. When you're caught up with, uh, as long as you're getting by, uh, you keep on doing uh, what you're doing. Uh, but God got your number. Uh, he can wait on you. I really didn't want to go this way. God got your number. Uh, he can wait on you. Good God Almighty. He knows your address. Uh, good God Almighty. He knows your hiding place. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, God knows. Uh, your hiding place. God can wait on you. Yes, he can. God can wait until you get where you think you're going. God can wait until you get where you think you are. And God will call you by your name. He said, oh, Adam, where are thou? I heard. Adam said, Lord, I was naked and I hid myself. And I heard. God said, who told you that you were naked? Have you done what I told you not to do? Good God Almighty. And Adam turned around and said, Lord, that woman that you gave me, that woman that you gave me, she gave me, and I did eat. Good God Almighty. Oh, yeah. God did not give a charge to the woman but he gave it to man, and God held Adam responsible. But he left Adam alone. I said, he left Adam alone. He left him alone. And he went to E. He said, E? Oh, E. What, you, what is this you've done? And he said, that serpent, he beguiled me, which means he tricked me. He beguiled me, and I did eat. And I gave also to my husband. And God left her alone. And God kept on, good God Almighty, too many times we deal with the effect. Instead of going to the call, God was looking at the effect, but he want to go to the call. What call? All this to happen. And I heard he say, that serpent, he beguiled me. He tricked me. And I did eat. And he left Eve alone. Am I right about it? And went on to the serpent. He said, because of what you've done, you, you, you crawled up on your belly the rest of your days, and you shall eat of the dust of the ground. And then he came back. Good God Almighty, after he went to the call, he came back and started waking on the effect. Good God Almighty, he said, now you eat because of what you've done. You, you shall bow for children in nine months of pain and your desire shall be to your husband well, sister your your desire ought to be to your husband and that wasn't all i heard god say and he and he shall rule over thee good god almighty a lot of sisters 
don't want their husband to rule over them. But the Bible said, God said, your desire shall be to your husband and he shall rule over thee. But he left Eve alone then. And he went to Adam and said, Adam, because of your disobedience, you should live by the sweat of your brow. Good God Almighty, the ground been bringing forth its fruit of its own accord. But from now on, it's going to bring forth thongs and thistles. And you're going to have to wake the ground. You're going to have to till the ground. Good God Almighty. And that's why, brethren, you have to get up in the morning when you don't feel like getting up. Then you have to go when you don't feel like going. You have to go when you're feeling bad sometime. Because God said, by the, you guys shall live by the sweat of your brow. You have to get up. Good God Almighty. Get up and be about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we come back, and that's why Job is having all these problems because of Satan. Good God Almighty, he didn't like it because God had given Adam a charge in the Garden of Eden to obey him. And when he found him, he went round. And when the Bible said that became a time when the sons of God they gathered themselves before the Lord, and that came the, the devil in the midst of them also. And the Lord said, Satan, from whence cometh thou? And I heard him say, from walking to and fro, up and down in the earth, I'm trying to find somebody that I can destroy. Don't fool yourself. Satan is passing your door. He's walking up and down before your door. He's walking up and down. And I heard God say, Do you consider my servant Job that none like him? He's a good man. He's a perfect man. One that feels God and is sure of the evil. Do you, oh, yeah. Have you considered Job? And I heard the devil said, Job is not serving you for nothing. You got a hedge around him. You give him everything that is hard desire. And that's why he's serving you because he doesn't have to want for anything. You take care of Job. But I dare you, I dare you to take your hedge around. Take your head down and let me get after him. And God said, go but don't fool with his soul. And Satan, first thing he did, the Bible tells me, he destroyed all that Job had, all his cattle, all his animals, all his camera, all his she asses, all his sheep, all his oxen, his seven sons and three daughters. But the Bible said, yeah, Job, out of all of this, he didn't count God, fool it, but he said, the Lord give it, and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Good God Almighty, I've got to close now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to cut some corners. Is that all right? I got to cut some corners. You might get tired, so I'm going to have to start cutting some corners. Good God Almighty. Oh, yeah. After Satan had destroyed all that Job had, his wife came to Job and said, Job, oh yeah, of all what God has done for you, you still gonna worship him? Yeah, why don't you curse God and go ahead and get out of here, go on and die. But I heard Job say, woman, you speak like a foolish woman. The Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Blessed, <laughs> blessed be the name of the Lord. Good God Almighty, when you know who God is, whatever happened, 
you still bless him. You may be going through a storm and rain, but while you're going, you can say, bless that be the name of the Lord. A friend may deceive you, but you can say, bless that be the name of the Lord. You may have to walk alone, but you can say, bless that be the name of the Lord. Job kept on. He kept on. He kept on keeping on. Job kept on. He kept on. And Satan went back to God. Oh, yeah. He said, what would a man give for his soul, his skin? Good God Almighty. God said, go ahead. Touch his body. But don't fool with his soul. The Bible said, and yeah. And Satan struck Job with soul, with bars from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Good God Almighty. Yeah. But Job held on. I somewhere I read. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I'm going to hold on by the skin of my teeth. Good God Almighty. And Job had three friends that came from his hometown, Eliphaz, Zophar, and Bildad. They came, yeah, to see by Job's condition. But when they got there, they saw Job sitting with sackcloth and ashes and scraping himself. Because he was in pain, they sat there for days and for night, looking at Job, shaking their head. And then after a while, I'm trying to close y'all. And after a while, he, they kept on looking at Job. Didn't say a word to him. Can you imagine when you're going through something in that Friend, come around you, but they don't give you no word of consolation. They just look at you. Just imagine in your mind when you need some help, and they just looking at you. They just looked at Job, and Job, and Job, he had to bear his pain. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust them. Oh, good God Almighty. And then when they did open their mouth, they started accusing Job and said, Job, you must have done something wrong. You supposed to be a righteous man. Yeah, nothing like this has ever happened to a righteous man. Good God Almighty. And so we see in this 19th chapter, yeah, Job began to answer, yeah, build that and said, now, you have accused me. Yeah, you talked about me. Yeah, but this I know. This I know. Yeah, when it's all over, my Redeemer liveth. And he shall stand upon the earth in the last day. This I know, my Redeemer liveth. Jesus, he's my Redeemer. He paid us. The redemptive price on the hill called Calvary. Jesus, my Lord and my Savior, he paid the debt out on the lonely hill, on the lonely hill called Calvary. Jesus paid my debt. Yeah, he paid the ransom price for my sin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He paid the debt. And I heard. Somebody said, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. What can make me whole again? Ow! Nothing. Ow! Nothing but the blood. The blood of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, 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 nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, it's all right, all right in my soul. Do you know him? Is he a friend of yours? Does he walk with you? Do he talk with you? Yeah. Have he ever told you that you are his own? <laughs> I know. 
I know. <laughs> I know. I know. That is my redemption. I know. I know. Quase sempre. 